Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Teardown, where in the previous episode we completed the game. We managed to finish the last mission in the current build of the game, which was Lee Chemicals Flooding. We managed to get that completed with a total of five, six, seven, eight of available eight um, score done. So the five primary and then three secondary with 9.4 seconds to go, which is pretty good. If we look at the television, we can see that Lee has been convicted of tax evasion. <laughs> we can see this changing into the typical yellow jumpsuit there. So Lee Jr. arrested for tax evasion this morning. Yeah, Mrs. Teddyman at the police says they have overwhelming evidence. Uh, thanks to good police work. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, and strong uh, community support. We also saw at the last part of, or the latter part of the video, a little run through of what I think may be one of the maps in the future. And also, if I keep looking at the telly here, we'll be able to see that it says the Evertime's Mall has started. We, that was the very first mission that we did where it was knocking down a building. And we can see, oh yeah, that may be one of the new maps to come in a future build. I think it's reasonable to assume. If not, then it's a nice little a little teaser thing there and something to think about. Either way, we have completed the, like say, current build. However, I'm continuing on with the series, mainly because I like playing the game, but also because these extra missions here, you can see the fine arts, insurance fraud, and the speed deal, we have not completed with all of the optional objectives, and it would be rude not to go back, since we have managed to complete most of these with all of the optionals. I think it would be rude not to go back and check these out. So we've got fine arts, we've got insurance fraud, but I'm actually going to go with the speed uh, the speed deal because I've been meaning to look at this for some time and there's been a couple of people directly suggest ways to to make this more efficient. Now this is like a map where you have to basically just go through all of the checkpoints and get a good time and I was able to get the time down to the very first one, which was, let's see, uh, finish the lap in 30 seconds. However, we also have secondary targets to finish it in 25 and then 20 seconds. I was, I'm not, uh, in terms of, yeah, driving, not something that I do very well. Uh, and I just was not capable of getting it better. So track record says 30.31, but actually we've done it in 30. So I didn't think it was possible to get round. And a lot of people suggested that actually you don't need to, because once again, it is teardown. So if we go over to, say, this gate here, we can see that this is one of the gates that we have to go through. So when we start the time, it will then start timing us to go through these gates, these ones up here. However, the gates lit up, the cable goes along and connects to these poles. You can, apparently, knock this down and take that gate off and move it wherever you want. As long as you don't break the gate symbol, uh, the gate sign, should I say, and as long as you don't disconnect it from that pole, you've got this pretty much down to a T. All right, let's give it a go. So over to the shotgun, and we're going to start to remove part of the gate. So there is that done. I will remove the back part of this one, and let's see if it falls. And it's falling, and it's falling forward. And, oh, that might have completely broken the gate. That's not good. Uh, okay, let's go for a blowtorch then. I'm just going to sort of blowtorch this back. I'm, I'm actually going to blowtorch that side off and then this side off. And that should hopefully allow me to then move the gate. And it does allow me to move the gate. The gate is somewhat heavier than I expected, although it does have a big girder on. Luckily, it is intact, as you can see there. So am I able to just sort of blowtorch the entire gate off? Like, can I just use this to remove all of the girders from the back? Um... It may be possible, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually slightly hitting the gate there, but it doesn't seem to affect it any. See, I'm hitting the gate, but it doesn't seem to be affecting it. It's still attached a little bit. Oh, but there we go. We now have a gate. <laughs> right, so what we can do is put this gate wherever we want. So, instead of having to go all the way around there, I'm going to place it here. <laughs> if I just remove this... We can just work our way across, surely. All right, let's go over to the um, pipe bomb and go one, two, three, four. Oh, that's not good. It's okay, it's still in place. We're fine. <laughs> right, so we will extinguish this section. 
Uh, we'll go for the shotgun because, yeah, I'm having to remove all of these concrete bits because I'm trying to, say, reduce the time because we're just going to go directly round from here. So, there you are. Remove all of these bits. And then, my objective is to place the timer about here. So we start one and we already go through another. And the other one's over there. And there's another back there. But if I can put those two together, it means basically just going through this one, round that little bit, and I think maybe across there and skip that out entirely. We'll see anyway. Let's just work uh, one of them one at a time. Although, hmm, yeah, maybe, maybe looking at them in situ would be a better idea. Which, removing this lamppost. Placing it here. Um, no, let's not place it here because I have to get cars onto this track eventually. I think we'll probably end up removing... Yeah, let's just remove all of this because we've seen the sports cars. Which is probably the one I'll end up using. We've seen them on even a tiny bit of rough ground. They're just... Because they're so low. Because they've been... <laughs> they've got a very low profile. I don't know if they've been slammed or just they like that. Probably because they like that factory wise. But yeah, they just tend to get they just tend to get stuck on everything. They've got such a low nose on them. So we'll just remove all of this. Shouldn't take too long to get rid of a bit of this grass here. I might say that provides a better surface for the cars to go on. Just get rid of that. Some of it gets removed when we sort of turn around or don't look at it. It's the nature of the beast. Some of it will get stuck in because if it's still attached to the ground, then it does that. Um, and then we'll just work our way across. And this is obviously going to be the first one. And then there's a couple more gates to do. In terms of timings, I don't have any idea of what sort of time we will get. If I can get... Well, we need to get... Under 20 seconds. I would be happy with just getting that done, to be honest with you. If it's under 20 seconds, job done. Uh, as long as we're getting the objectives, that's fine. If we get under 15, then that will be... You know, I'll be very content with that, indeed. I'm not even thinking about under 10 seconds or anything. This is, I don't think that's possible. Um, certainly with my level of skill. And there we go. So the car will come across. I should move this section as well. And I have to move the gate. I'll do that in a moment. Breaking all this, so you can see underneath the surface that it is not destructible. Although I think you may be able to go one or two layers deep before it really becomes indestructible. I'm not. I'm not going to attempt to shoot it with anything to test that theory. Right, we'll bring our gate in, and there we go. So there's one gate. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much where I wanted it. So can I? Can I stand it up? I guess we could put it... Why don't we just put it here? Like that. So we start and go around this side. Let's let's try it, shall we? I'm going to get a vehicle. I'm going to then attempt the run to see if that's how it works. I have not tried this. As I said, this is what people have suggested in the comments several episodes ago, to be fair. So get ready. So, we start here. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, that triggers immediately. Right. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. So, we know that that works. So, we'll just do that. <laughs> yeah, as I said, thank you for um, the couple of people that have suggested uh, removing this. It wasn't specifically to remove the gates like that, um, but it was said you, you can remove... Well, this it said you can remove some of the gates, you can move the track around and such. So, that's pretty, pretty darn good. So, if we get that one, and then do we follow this round here, or do we just double back on ourselves? Um, this is the flattest part, and I think it's within this... Right, where we come across will depend on how far this can be moved. So, I'm going to work on that principle so let's just turn that light off that 
span weirdly, didn't it? And we are going to remove this back bit. There we go. And to be honest, I might as well just do that. And the gate's now stopped. And there we go. Right. I will use the blowtorch once again. I know I can actually work right directly across now, so that's fine. I think the gate's no longer attached. It is no longer attached. There are still bits of the gate. Uh, sorry, still bits of the... Top bit there attached to this, but that's alright. So I've brought the gate fairly far. And this one I think we can probably do the same thing with. Quick save. Oh, did it go? <laughs> it went through. It went through the uh, the gap. <laughs> uh, pot luck in it. Right, once again, blowtorch. I think this is the most we've used the blowtorch for quite some time. Normally we've been using, well, the ultimate universal tool, the shotgun. Speaking of which, I may have to employ at this stage. I'm just trying to get this gate section removed. Well, remove the gantry so that I can move the gate. Oh, it's still actually attached to part of this by the look of it. So just a bit more of that. And then there we go. I think we are free. Double check. Yeah, we're fine. All right. So we'll pick it up. And we'll go work our way over here. Whoops. These gates do seem to be very substantial. So... <laughs> that wasn't deliberate. But the timing was brilliant. <laughs> These gates seem substantial. Pong! As the thing breaks. Okay. Right. And there we go. And... Oh, it's now stopped that way, has it? No longer. Right. Let's work on this. So, yeah. It is... We can confirm it is easy. And indeed... Very probable that you will accidentally snap the thing off. So just be careful with where you take it and how far you take it. So I'm going to stop there to quick save it before then continuing along to... You know, I don't need to take it any further than that really, do I? Gate here. You can go a lot further. Is it actually getting stuck? That's not getting stuck on that, is it? It sort of is. I'm just going to bring the gate over here, to be honest. Oh, oh, oh. Right, we're almost... Almost at max extension for that. I'm actually trying to make it so it... F yeah, faces up, because that would be a lot better. Come on. No. Uh, bit more, bit more. There we are. Yes. Right. There we go. Uh quick save. Let's see where the other one can go. So we start on that one. We go through that one. Get that one done. The next is there. That's really as far as I can take it. So I think I think just across this. Once again, I'll remove this grassy, uh, this muddy grassy bit. And I think we can just get a vehicle over here. I think that's the way forward for this one. And that feels like that could be a potentially good time. I'm just doing a very quick smash through here. You see the ground is uneven, which is a problem. We will have to uh, potentially look at another way. But the more I can flatten this out, this early stage the better. Realistically it's going to be about here isn't it? This bit. I can't really afford to start going on that but I mean the racing line can be altered slightly. I don't know what car I'm going to use. I think I, in, I had in mind the, the really fast one but I don't think I was going to say I don't think speed's going to be our friend. It is going to be our friend but control is going to be more a lot more important. 
so I mean it's almost as if looking at this it was designed to get a car through there yeah this is as far as we're going to take that because it won't be able to, whatever car we get probably won't go up there okay so this one is almost at max extension with the cabling so I'm going to spin it round and put it there and there's the gate quick save let's give this a go so there are three gates that we have removed I'm pretty sure with that one we just need to get near so let's let's attempt this I'm gonna stand this one up just for the sake of pleasing aesthetics like that come on there we are I could plank it down, but there's no need. I'll remove these sections because I need to get the car. Actually, I don't need to remove these sections. I can just go over there. And here is our... <laughs> Shall I attempt it in this? No. <laughs> Immediately, as soon as I got in, <laughs> the speed, or rather lack of it. And no, <laughs> we're not attempting that. We're going to use these things. But obviously, these do not like uneven ground and indeed don't really have any bricks all right so let's quick save it and let's give this a go all right ready three two one go one oh bit of drift bit of drift two three Eleven seconds. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. So that's <laughs> that's the optional completed with uh, nearly nine seconds remaining. Come on, can we get it sub ten? It would be rude not to try, wouldn't it? It would be rude not to try. was this bit that let me down. It's let me down again. Well, no, I've let myself down on that one. Nine, ten, eleven. I think a new car is in order, to be honest. That one needs a service. So we'll get in that car and we'll try that again. I don't think any other vehicle is going to be as good as this because even the 4x4s, they are very, very good. But they just, the, 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 in terms of the just sheer speed, they just don't have it. Is handbraking the way to go? Probably not. Let's go. Three, two, one. One. Slow down a little bit. There you go. Drift around that and then speed. So close. So close. Um, what was that? Whoops. It says 11.2. I thought that was quicker, but apparently not. The next question then, um, quick save, is... Can this be moved? Ah, um, it can be moved, but I'm pretty sure it's offline now. Yes, it is. Uh, it, it, it's off. All right. Well, if I want it, if that can be moved, the thing is that's not connected with any wires. But assuming that that can be moved, we could potentially make this a bit better. Is there any way to make this quicker? Well, potentially the line could be better through here. Because you would have to come, start there, go right round here. Big drift, big drift. This bit here is where, obviously, we we can see all where the the skid marks are on the on the track. Skid around here. Same thing here, and then we slow right down this corner. I think that can be done in under ten seconds. I'm fairly confident it can be done in under ten seconds now. Although uh, we're not going to attempt that. I don't see any real point in attempting that uh, run 
in... Well, I just don't see the point in attempting it again. We have got well under what we needed. Well, that's one way to cut a car in half. So I think we will declare victory and move on with that one. All right, that is mission completed. Score three, target one uh, with two optionals. 16 minutes, 31 seconds. So a little bit shorter than the previous episode, uh, to be sure. And that has now got us to score 103. And yeah, nice. You can see, actually... This is what a couple of people wanted me to do in a previous episode. They said, why don't we have a little tour of the of the new yard? Because it's now maxed out. So we'll do that now because it's quite a short episode and I think we've got the time. So we can see from the front here, this is a little bit better than when we first started. There's no holes in the roof. We've got some lights on there. We've also got some of the vehicles that we have uh, liberated from other areas. So we've got this, which is... The forklift. I'm actually getting distracted. Sorry, I'm looking over there and that's hovering until we get a bit closer and then the supports uh, seem to <laughs> load in. Yeah, we've got this big forklift here. On the left hand side, we have a strange bit of ground. I don't know what that's all about. Um, up to the top, we have this sort of, I don't know, like a raised platform of some kind, followed by loads of scrapped cars, a crane, a big digger, a. Ooh, didn't realise this was in the game. Is this another little secret? This is a monster truck. And it's really fun. Wow, would not have seen this. Oh, it drifts really well. Would not have seen that if uh, it wasn't for this little runaround. Wow, that's nice. That's very nice indeed. Yeah, that's sweet. Just drift it around. Yeah, nice. Anyway, we've got our power generation back here, which we had to come on. We had to turn this on in the first episode. Working on the back, we'll check inside the building. We've got another vehicle, this uh, dumper truck. We've got Ammo refill. This is, uh, yeah, our bunker storage. It's so you can, like, just send loads of rockets. Also, there's windmill over there as well, working. I mean, not for long. Whoopsie! And there it goes. <laughs> yeah, and then you go in here and... Ammo refill. We're going to go around here. We've got, obviously, loads more scrap. There's... Oh, there's one of the dishes that we uh, took off the island. That was one of the objectives. We've got... Looks to be a wood saw there, circular saw. On top here, we've got what's that? A little another digger, yeah. Which for some reason the front end always seems to fall off. Normally because I hit things, and then we've also got these little carriages, which is curious because we've got these train carriages, and when we go here, obviously this is a this is a a rail line that goes out to the back. If we open up the gate, it goes across this bridge, and there we have. The back of a rail car, which I've not actually explored in here yet. Sadly, nothing. But is this a little teaser for what we may see in the future? Well, we've seen in previous. Well, we've seen on the at the end of the last episode, we've had that sort of run through that town. It was very long with the. Um, What's up here? Um, oh, it's actually falling to bits. Shame. <laughs> yeah, that town that was very long, which was flanked by sort of high, high um, mountains. So that could potentially be one of the new maps coming. And also stated on the TV about a about the what was it the shopping mall getting built. So we knew that right at the start, where it said that, yes, they were working on a mall. The first mission was to destroy a building so they could work on the mall. And there is the Evertides Mall, just the last bit. But yeah, um, we will hopefully see both those maps in the future. Um, and also in terms of vehicles, well, we've got that monster truck, which we might see in the future. And I'm genuinely hoping that we see some locomotives, full train at least, that you can move on the rails. Obviously, you would have to follow the rails. Whether or not you could then remove the rails and have the train go off it, <laughs> or even put new ones in, that would all be really fun to see. Either way, 
we are obviously just speculating at this stage. But next episode, then, we will take a look at, once again, the Villa Garden to do fine arts and or insurance fraud. I don't think it'll be an and because these take quite a while, these missions. Fine arts, which is to steal paintings. We need to steal at least four. We have previously stolen six with 0.8 seconds remaining. The insurance fraud, we have... It is... Three required, four secondary. We've got three done previously with two secondary with 18.5 seconds spare. So one of these we will select, probably the insurance fraud because, quite frankly, it is the one with the most time remaining. So I think that would be the easiest one and we'll save the harder one for the penultimate episode. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed the video on the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.